The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is a children's novel written by C.S. Lewis and published in 1950. In The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, a band of brothers and sisters find themselves lost in a fantasy world hidden inside a wardrobe. While trying to find a way home, one of the children is tempted into betraying his family by a witch wielding candy. What was the fateful candy which little Edmund couldn't resist? Turkish delight. Let's see if this treat is worth betraying your family over. We'll start with the ingredients. Pause the video if you need to read the ingredients. As we can see in this picture, there are many different ways to flavor Turkish Delight. It may be wise to keep it simple with some of the options on screen. Turkish Delight can be coated in many things, including powdered sugar or crushed nuts. If you think of something, don't be afraid to give it a shot, especially if it's not your first time. You'll also need some cooking equipment. Gather your ingredients and measure them out. You're going to want them ready for when you're cooking. Set up your thermometer and prepare your mold with oil or some kind of release agent that you trust for very sticky candy. Mix your sugar and cream of tartar in one bowl and your cornstarch and cream of tartar in a separate bowl. Be sure to get inside the corners when you're dissolving the sugar. Be very safe and careful with hot sugar syrup. It's recommended to use cold liquids in this step. I'm using orange juice for flavor. Once the cornstarch slurry gets to temperature, it will thicken up in a hurry, so be on your toes. And make sure your cooking partner is there to help you. Oh, there it goes. Ignore what I'm doing in the video and be sure to have someone else help you with this. You really don't want to pour hot sugar on yourself. At this point, we're hoping to cook a lot of the water out of the candy mixture and get it to thicken up considerably. We're looking for the color to darken slightly and for the mixture to start pulling away from the walls when we mix it. You do need to be mixing constantly, and it will take 5 to 20 minutes to get to the point where it needs to be. Some recipes call for an hour even, so pay close attention and you'll have to call the shot when you feel like it. Turn off the heat and add the flavoring and color while the mixture is still hot. Stir it in vigorously. Make sure your dish is well oiled and pour the mixture into the dish or mold. Cover with greased plastic wrap and let it sit on your counter until you're ready to eat it or at least six hours. Carefully remove the block of Turkish Delight from your mold.
cut your block into roughly inch or half inch cubes, whichever you prefer. Prepare whichever coating you choose and place it in a large bowl for tossing. Toss your candy cubes in the powder coating and arrange on a plate beautifully. Oh, and also probably eat some. <laughs>